I have these contracts for the seven towers at the games village. Now one plug point, you know, and this is specifically it mentions over here that there's only one. You know, at one place it costs three hundred and ninety-six rupees. At another, it costs two thousand one hundred and forty-nine rupees. In tower seven, two thousand four hundred, two thousand one hundred and forty-nine. At another place, three hundred and ninety-six. How can these things be explained, Mr. Kalmadi? We will explain every article which we have purchased, and there is an inquiry committee set up for that. I don't want trial by media anymore. You're calling this a trial by media, but in the documents that we have come out, we will be giving all explanations. Because these are based on reports that the CAG, the CVC came up with, their preliminary reports, and the point that is being made. In fact, the BJP president Nitin Gadkari held a press conference just a short while ago and said that the loot, you know, is historic in nature. And why is it that everything has been escalated? This is not trial by media. This is being said by the CAG and the CVC <coughs> both. Uh, we will answer all. There is a committee which is going into it. We will answer all these questions. Thank you. You are saying that there is a committee. But what, are, what Mr. Kalmadi, Thank are the you. big... Mr. Kalmadi, just Thank a couple you. of more questions. No, no, I've, I've what, what you said Suresh Kalmadi no, staged a dramatic walkout of, of this I'll interview I'll with I'll headlines I'll today, I'll just I'll minutes after it had begun. What could have irritated the usually unflappable organizing committee chairman so much? His usual policy is to brazen it out. The harshest of criticism washes off him like water off a duck's back. So could it be this damning proof dug up by headlines today of the organizing committee's complete lack of oversight when approving overlays for the game's venues? This particular contract is with a Swiss company called Messrs Nasli. It stipulates a price of 1,16,316 rupees for rental of a single two-ton AC. You heard it right. A price of over 1,16,000 rupees to rent one AC for the duration of the Commonwealth Games. And for that princely sum, this is what Nasli provided at the venues. Decrepit old air conditioners which could potentially endanger somebody's life or even be a fire hazard. Both Suresh Kalmadi's organizing committee and Nasli were informed by venue managers of the condition of these air conditioners. Nasli made a half-hearted effort to make them look better by merely changing the front grille. I inspected each machine by removing the front grille and found the machine still the same and very old. The two machines which were defective were lying outside the cabins and close inspection showed they were old locally assembled machines. Do you still maintain that you were providing world class international quality work? According to these internal emails, complaints were being made till mid September when Nusli was supposed to complete the work by 10th of September. So, why did Suresh Kalmadi and Lalit Bharno did not probe Nusli then? Why did OC maintain their silence? This is the big question which neither Suresh Kalmadi nor Rusli is ready to answer. These wobbly pedestal fans would be a huge embarrassment even at a neighborhood wedding. Yet, they found pride of place at the major Dhyan Chand hockey stadium during the games. In another SOS to the organizing committee and Nasli, the venue manager writes, the pedestal fans are of Chinese make which are quite poor in the quality. We are not aware how much time period they will be able to last during the games as they are light in weight besides being poor in quality. Fans base is so poor they will not be able to withstand little more than normal wins. And that's not all. These rather unsteady fans were rented for 4,500 rupees each. Rented, not purchased. A branded pedestal fan would cost between 1800 to 2500 rupees. Why then was the organizing committee ready to rent them for double the price? Why were switches and plugs allowed to be rented between 396 rupees and 2700 rupees just for the duration of the games? I have these contracts for the seven towers at the games village. Now one plug point, you know, and this is specifically it mentions over here that there's only one. You know, at one place it costs 396 rupees, at another it costs 2149 rupees. In tower 7, 2,149, at another place 396. 
How can these things be explained, Mr. Kalmaji? We will explain every article which we have purchased, and there is an inquiry committee set up for that. I don't want trial by media anymore. You're calling this a trial by media, but in the documents that we have come out, we will be giving all explanations. Because these are based on reports that the CAG, the CVC came up with, their preliminary reports, and the point that is being made. In fact, the BJP president Nitin Gadkari held a press conference just a short while ago and said that the loot, you know, is historic in nature. And why is it that everything has been escalated? This is not trial by media. This is being said by the CAG and the CVC <coughs> both. Uh, we will answer all. There is a committee which is going into it. We will answer all these questions. Thank you. You are saying that there is a committee. But what, are, what Mr. Kalmadi, Thank are the you. big... Mr. Kalmadi, just Thank a couple you. of more questions. No, no, I've, I've what, what you said five minutes. No, no, just a couple of more questions. I will answer mind. all your questions. So, Mr. Kalmadi, just a couple all of questions. questions if you don't mind. I will answer all your questions. It would have been absolutely uh, very responsible of conduct if Kalmadi ji fully completed this interview, answered it the way he wanted to answer, rather than walking out of it. Because I think now it's not an issue of personal matters. The country is interested in knowing where the taxpayers' money has gone. These letters with headlines today copied to both Nusli and organizing committee details a litany of problems with overlays. They include poor maintenance of record of the company to gensets which were not provided with right foundation. While loosely, an organizing committee maintains they were providing world-class work, India was cutting a very low figure before international community. With Harinder Baveja in New Delhi, Siddharth Kautam for Headlines Today.